Hello and welcome to Train Signal. You're watching vCloud Suite 5.1. What's new? Most likely everyone watching this lesson is familiar with VMware vSphere and what it offers, but you may or may not be familiar with the VMware vCloud Suite. So before I go into what's new with the vCloud Suite, let me first back up and give you a quick overview of what the vCloud Suite is for those who aren't too familiar with it. Maybe you haven't tried it before, maybe you haven't been to a presentation on it yet at your local VMware user group, or maybe your VMware salesperson hasn't been by to visit to talk you into uh, upgrading to the vCloud Suite yet. So if you haven't heard about it, just a quick overview. VMware says that the vCloud Suite transforms your virtual infrastructure into an agile cloud. So it takes your virtual infrastructure and creates a private cloud if you're a private company, or let's say you want to become a service provider, you could create a public cloud with the VMware vCloud Suite. Out of this cloud infrastructure, be it private or public, you could then offer your infrastructure as a service. So you have a more self-service oriented virtual infrastructure available to the application owners or your users that in a private company you designate with access or in a public company, those are your paying customers. So you've got this infrastructure as a service, you've got a private cloud or a public cloud, and the vCloud suite is made up of multiple different VMware products that make these cloud infrastructures possible. There's a cloud infrastructure pieces made up of VMware vSphere, vCenter, Site Recovery Manager, vCloud Connector, and vCloud Director. There's the cloud service provisioning pieces. Those are made up of vCloud Automation Center, previously known as Dynamic Ops or Dynamic Operations, a company that VMware bought, and the vFabric Application Director. There's the Cloud Operations Management piece, which is made up of VMware vCenter Operations Management Suite. And finally, the Cloud Business Management piece, which is made up of vCenter Chargeback Manager. Let's look at these in a graphical diagram so you can see how they all fit together. If you start in the center of the diagram all the way at the bottom, you've got your virtual infrastructure resources, you've got your servers, you've got your network, you've got your storage, and your security represented by the firewall. Those data center resources are of course virtualized by VMware vSphere, the hypervisor that we'll be talking about in this training course on what's new in VMware vSphere 5.1. VMware vCloud Director sits on top of vSphere, and that's really what abstracts away everything related to VMware vSphere for your vCloud Director users, or for your cloud infrastructure users. They don't have to know about virtual RAM or features like high availability or distributed resource scheduler. They're looking at their own software-defined data center, or a virtual data center, as it's called in vCloud Director. That virtual data center is going to have software-defined storage, software-defined networking, software-defined security, and software-defined availability that make up this entire, what VMware calls, the software-defined data center. That cloud infrastructure is then managed by vFabric Application Director and the vCenter Operations Management Suite. Of course, we have a lesson in this course on vCenter Operations Manager Foundation Edition. And then it's extended using the vCloud APIs, which are built into vCloud Director. vCloud Connector can connect your virtual infrastructure to the public cloud or your private cloud to the public cloud, allowing you to move virtual machines from one cloud or one virtual infrastructure to another and see what virtual machines are running in your various clouds. Finally, there's vCenter Orchestrator, which of course is used to automate common tasks in the virtual infrastructure. What's missing in this diagram is the newly renamed Dynamic Operations, which is now called VMware vCloud Automation Center, which is used to automate the entire cloud infrastructure and even automate it in relation to the physical infrastructure that you might have remaining that has yet to be virtualized. What's also missing is a VMware Chargeback Manager used to charge back the business or your customers if you're a public cloud service provider for the virtual resources that they use out of the software-defined data center. As you can see, there's much more to the vCloud suite than just VMware vSphere and vCenter, which we talk about in this course. For more information on the vCloud suite, 
especially vCloud Director. We've got a great vCloud Director Essentials course. We also have a vCenter Operations Manager course and a VMware vSphere Advanced Networking course, all of which would help you to better understand and build your own VMware software-defined data center using the vCloud Suite. Now that we know what the vCloud Suite is, let's move along and let's talk about more specifically what's new in vCloud Suite version 5.1. vCloud Suite version 5.1 was made generally available at VMworld 2012. And not only have the revision numbers of a number of different products been synchronized to match up with vCloud Suite 5.1, one product has even been renamed. So the vCloud Suite is made up of VMware vSphere, now version 5.1, vCloud Director version 5.1, which was moved from version 1.51, and then the VMware vShield product has been renamed vCloud Networking and Security. And now a number of new additions have been made to vCloud Networking and Security, also called vCNS. VCNS now includes an application-aware firewall, and there's been a number of improvements to VXLAN. vCenter Site Recovery Manager has been improved, and now its new version number is also 5.1. So the vCloud Suite primarily, at its core, is made up of vSphere, vCloud Director, vCloud Networking and Security, and vCenter Site Recovery Manager. But as the diagram that we just looked at shows, there's other pieces that also make the software-defined data center vision possible, including vFabric Application Director, vCenter Operations Manager, and vCloud Connector. For more detailed information on the exact features included in every one of these new products that make up the vCloud Suite version 5.1, I encourage you to go over to VMware's product page for the vCloud Suite. And here, if we scroll down, you'll find all the individual products that make up the vCloud Suite. And if you select each one, you can learn more. In this case, we're looking at vCloud Networking and Security. And if we scroll down, it talks about how it works, what it can do to help you, the features that are included, how these products map back to vShield in the case of vCloud Networking and Security. And you should also know that there's various editions of the vCloud Suite available. There's vCloud Suite Standard, Advanced, and Enterprise, and the vCloud Suite product page, if you click on Compare Editions, you'll get to compare the various features and products that make up each of these different vCloud Suite editions. For information about VMware's vCloud offerings from their service providers, if you go to vCloud.VMware.com, here you can get a complete list of the VMware service provider community all of these service providers are utilizing VMware products to deliver their solutions. And if you'd like to get an idea of what the vCloud Suite looks like from an end user perspective, you can also evaluate VMware vCloud offerings with a free trial that's available from a handful of service providers. It's here that you can also download the vCloud connector to connect your virtual infrastructure to the public cloud or your private cloud to the public cloud. And finally, there's a lot to talk about related to VMware vCloud because recently VMware announced that they'll soon be offering their own public cloud. That means their own infrastructure as a service offering that will conceivably compete with these vCloud service providers. VMware's vCloud suite is a powerful but also complex and potentially costly solution. So I encourage you to learn more about it to find out if it's the right solution for you and for your company. Thanks for watching this lesson covering VMware's vCloud Suite, What's New?